what's up everybody thank you guys for joining for another video today i'm super excited we're going to be talking about this guy that's hanging up on the wall the selkirk tour bag so i've had it for a couple weeks now and just want to give you guys some insight on what i like what i don't like about it and if it's a good fit for you and if you should look into getting this bag so let's get into the video and let's talk about a little bit of pros and cons of it so getting it off this wall here got this new setup let me know what you guys think in the comments but overall it looks good i think it's nice cameras adjusted let's get into the bag you can see it is very large it is a big bag by no means is this a small bag which i don't think is a bad thing which is kind of what i wanted it's a big bag and so you can carry a lot they do have the selkirk team bag but i wanted something a bit bigger Me and my wife both use this bag so this is our family pickleball bag so i wanted the space took me out of the market for the team and that's why i went with the tour bag just a little bit of insight and kind of some background on why i chose this paddle if you're a single player or you know you and your wife your significant other have different bags you could consider doing the team bag that would be a great bet but let's start kind of just with the exterior what we got going on here on this bag we you can see that there's a lot of zippers and maybe i'll zoom in this for this a bit for you guys to see so basically on the sides we got two mesh pouches we have a large opening here which has a very large zipper that goes all the way around which opens the top portion of this bag we also have a zipper on that top flap it covers majority of this space it's basically the size of this selkirk logo right here which you could put your phone personal items while playing you know whatever really got another pouch here then on the sides you have opening here you can put a lot of things but it is the perfect size for a paddle so my selkirk epic power air paddle sits on this side and it is very nice on the inside it's it's lined with this fabric so it is very soft and it's not going to be damaging your to your paddle and it's padded and lined with fabric so very soft very protective which is great and on this side we have another similar pouch but this pouch instead it has a cooler lining and so you can see that silver it's padded cooler lining so you know you could throw water bottles snacks keep them cool with some ice pouches and that is a great option to keep things cool since i'm usually playing indoors or i have my big water jug i have this giant i don't even know how many ounces this is but this big guy i throw a bunch of ice and it will last me a whole pickleball session so on this side i have my yola hyperion on this side as well so padded cooler line so it's not fabric but it's still still good and protective fits great and another thing to consider it's like the yola has a really long handle and it's a really tall paddle and that fits in here great which honestly having the two paddles on the sides gives it a bit more support and structure to the to the bag which i i really like overall that's great so let's get into a couple of those zipper pouches and then this front pouch you'll see we have two sets of zippers here on the front we have one which will be another fabric lined this one does not have on the front not padded but it still is fabric lined and so there is you know another spot for you to put your wallet your keys your phone not padded but has that lining which is great another thing that i really like about this backpack and let's get into the main compartment is this front opening so the top opening and the front as well they both get you to the same place but what it allows you to do is say you have a lot of stuff in this bag you have some stuff more back or top focus and stuff that are more at the bottom like balls maybe which is kind of the situation that i have here so i'll open it on the front and you're going to see that it will basically just have a bunch of balls i have a good probably 15 to 20 balls right here in the front of this bag which is awesome i don't have to worry you know about carrying balls and something else i can just put a bunch of them in the bag i have some indoor outdoor which is great so whenever i'm going just for a couple balls i'm opening this front piece i love that you have two ways to get into it and here's the top section so you open up here nice big opening and this is one thing we're going to talk about this top zipper not the greatest but we'll get that in the pros and cons so now in this bag let's get a bit closer so in the bag you have a couple different compartments in here you have this back laptop sleeve right here and so in there i have another paddle which this one is my wife's as we'll see here we have that back laptop pouch that i just told you about and then we also have three zippers you can kind of see them right there and those are three separate dividers which is great for putting specific things you know if you have extra handle wraps or 
different things you just have access to to kind of divide stuff in here so in the first pouch i got an extra couple over wraps and i'm like holding the bag and filming i have a couple like ankle compression sleeves elbow sleeves so we got all those pouches right there overall you have that in here you can also see right there i have a little tripod for my phone in case i want to record some videos on the court and then on the sides as well right here you're going to see on the sides which is like the inside of the side where your paddles are you have another set of dividers in this one i currently have nothing but let me show you this other side and these pouches are very large they go all the way to the bottom of the bag so they are very big very nice on this side i have a couple more things so like again more over grips i have this pouch which has lead tape electrical tape it has a pocket knife so i can cut the over wrap and electrical tape when i need to so overall it's just great you have so much storage in this bag and so many ways to divide it or organize the way that you want it and again you can just see how deep this bag is it is a large large bag speaker here i just carabiners cinch that onto one of the zippers but overall great on the dividers and ability to organize and customize the way you want the bag with everything there's a whole lot of good but let's talk a little bit about the bag one thing that i did forget to cover on the back side move all my speakers and all that good stuff you have this awesome padded back so you have the padded back uh, has the aeration the perforated holes for a bit of aeration and these very sturdy strap if you have a lot of stuff in this bag because it's very wide and they have a lot of structure built into this strap you're not going to be getting a lot of that pressure on your shoulders it's very well distributed you got the buckles snap on but again this very well padded uh, back and i really cool design selkirk logo down here really do like it and also a handle here with a nice thick rubber rubber grip so it's not like if you're holding that for a long time it's just you know cutting into your hand with a thin strap which is super nice love the build of this bag another thing i can't believe i forgot this this is one of the things that i really do like about this bag as well on the bottom of the bag we have another pouch or another opening and down here it's kind of your your shoe slot this is where you would put your shoes i know some people put it on the top i like it in the bottom the reason being is they even have little like this rubber mesh opening right here and these rubber mesh openings are to aerate to let your shoes be able to air out so down here you have a zipping pouch this does push into the main compartment so like it's just loose lined material so yeah you do lose a bit of space when you do have shoes down here it's not like its own hard boxed in area of the bag so it does contribute into the space in the middle of the bag but nonetheless a great place got my shoes in here which i am a big fan of these nike tennis got some mothballs and all that good stuff but this isn't a what's in my bag so let's get past that so shoes down here they fit well they're not getting crammed or crushed i just have them fit in perfectly and they just fit right in there throw some dryer sheets in in the bottom and you get that cool aeration here so they air out which is great but overall a great bag i really do enjoy it and i'm glad i went from this from just some random backpack that i had and i was just stuffing things in and making it work this is a really good purposeful bag you can tell it's a bag made for this sport which is, is just awesome you can tell everything has its place which is super nice i would say for me it's a nine out of ten there's one factor that completely knocks off a point from this bag and it is this top zipper this top zipper has so it's such a thick zipper which you would be expecting like all the other ones are pretty small standard size zippers this zipper is huge it is giant it is like it's really big zipper and it is terrible there's so much fabric um that goes into it and it snags at so many points usually when you're closing the bag it's fine oh here's a snag here's another snag it's like on every corner you snag a ton you can see like how long that takes me and i have to sit there and like push and nudge when you're opening it there it goes again snag see how bad that is like i have to go up and then come back at it and like that's that's not a good zipper see like this is just to give you guys an example closing usually isn't too bad but when you have to open this sucker up snag again I have to mess with the fabric to get it open it's part and part of it is this underpiece because they have reinforced this top 
this thing juts out and this is what stops the zipper which is inside the bag so it's kind of hard for you to be able to while you're unzipping it get to this to move it so that is the big issue is that under part that supports the top which is a great feature to have it but this needs to be fine-tuned for sure uh, that that does make the top zipper quite annoying but just that top zipper man it's a pain the nice thing about it is though is you do have this front option so if you can access with these good zippers that are easy to access if you can get to what you need perfect you just come in the side go into the dividers grab what you need the paddle you need to open that top so if you have a paddle in this middle section you need to open the top to be able to get to your paddle but everything else super great awesome bag overall love it there it is the selkirk tour bag thank you guys for watching this video hope you guys have a good rest of your day and we will see you in the next video guys peace out